Should you be excited for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9? Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, if you haven't been here before and you're just here for the first time, then thank you for coming and seeing me. I hope you come back again soon. So let's talk about this Samsung Galaxy Note 9, of which we seem to know just about everything that there is to know, but yet we don't know the reality of the situation. The question here is, should we be excited for the Galaxy Note 9? I, for one, spoiler alert, I am excited for the Note 9. I get a little bit excited for the Note phones every year. Last year's Note, even though I bought it a couple of different times because I so much wanted it to be good, it um, it just, there were, there were certain things that bothered me about it. I could not get myself using the fingerprint reader reliably, re reliably. I could not do it. I could not get it to do it. Anyway, uh, I ended up selling it two times. But that, to me, is not an indictment of the Note line itself. Or is it? Because we've heard these crazy rumors that Samsung may be discontinuing the Note series sometime in the near future. Maybe this Note 9 is the last Note that we're ever going to see from the folks at Samsung. I hope that you don't do that, and I don't think you will, honestly, because in conversations that I've had, we all, we, everybody that I've talked to believes that the Note has been such a staple of Samsung's lineup and has its own cachet in a market filled with phones that just look exactly like one another, that there's no reason they should want to get rid of the Note. If the Note 9 is the final Note, is it going to be worthy of that title? Well, <laughs> Samsung seems to have decided that it, just to sort of get everything out of the way, they were going to leak everything there was to know about this phone uh, just preemptively. There was a leak of the phone itself in a really crappy video that's it's looked like somebody had taken it from the factory floor. Then there was the, I guess, sort of promo video that came out and then went away quickly. And there's been all kinds of stuff. And right now, you can actually go and reserve the Note 9 on Samsung's website. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. I went and just reserved mine just before I started making this video, because I know that I want to get it. And I'm going to tell you why. A lot of folks are giving Samsung crap because they are, you know, leaking everything about this phone. I don't particularly understand why. I mean, it's given them at least a couple more news cycles before the unpacked event that's going to show the thing in real life for everybody to see on the 9th of August. So I have no problem with that. A lot of folks are also saying, well, it's just going to be like the... Um, like the S9 and S9 Plus, nothing really all that special, sort of S8 II, S8 Plus II. I don't think that that's going to be the case. There are going to be some significant new features on this Note phone that are going to make it a worthy release in and of itself. So let's go ahead and cover some of the specs that have been leaked <laughs> by Samsung. Uh, we, got a, we got a 6.4 inch AMOLED QHD Plus display. 12 megapixel camera and uh, six, possibly eight gigs of RAM. And this is what really is important to me. Uh, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, I have been saying for quite a long time, most of this past year, as we got underwhelming battery after underwhelming battery in phones from 2017, I said, the company that puts a 4,000 milliamp hour battery will have met the minimum requirements for me to say, this is what I'm talking about. 4,000 milliamp hour, that's what I'm talking about. All day battery, maybe all two day battery, I don't know. But all I can say is I'm so happy to know that that's going to be a feature on the Note phone because the Note phones are supposed to be all about the productivity. They're supposed to be all about the stuff that people can do with it. And if your battery's dead, then you can't really do much storage. We're going to see um, possibly 64, 128, 256 gigabytes. I've even seen 512 thrown out there as an option. The rumors also suggest that we're going to see 512 gigabytes of micro SD storage. 
which could make this phone the first phone to have up to one terabyte of storage. One terabyte of storage. What else could be exciting about this phone that nobody is really talking about all that much? Well, one thing, and this was announced with the uh, tab four that they're putting out, inbuilt DeX support. Now, if you're not familiar with DeX, DeX is, uh, I guess it basically turns your Samsung phone into a sort of computer. You can plug it into a screen and then you can get Bluetooth stuff hooked up to it. And then it can function as basically a computer. Up until this point, you had to have a dock and that dock was what did all the magic. But with the Samsung tablet, this the Tab 4, whatever they call it, the DeX is built right in. So all you got to do is plug it into a monitor, I guess. And I've heard that they're going to build that into the Note 9 as well, which honestly, again, if this is supposed to be the super productivity phone, then it makes total sense that that DeX functionality would be slid in so that, you know, you could go from S penning it, you know, just like, and then you could uh, plug that baby in and go to keyboarding it. Ah, it'd be pretty cool. I may, if that is the case, I may do a video after the Note 9 comes out trying to use the Note 9 as my one and only device uh, for like a week and see how it happens. But anyway, that, that I, Dex would be really cool. Of course, there are some downsides. There are still going to be a Bixby button there. Uh, nobody asked for the Bixby button. The Bixby button has been long lamented. People have complained about it. I've complained about it. I think Samsung needs to get over it. However, they don't seem to be getting over it. So there will be a Bixby button. Eh. One of the big features that's coming out of the... One of the big features that's leaked that's been coming out all over the place. That didn't sound right. Uh, that's been... <laughs> that's been spread about everywhere like a virus is... The new S Pen, if you've seen any images or video of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, you will have seen the blue phone with the yellow S Pen. Um, yeah, a yellow S Pen. And the S Pen now is going to have some different functionalities. It's going to have uh, it's going to have Bluetooth, so we hear, which maybe will make it a remote control for being able to take the, the pictures. It could also possibly be used as, as a pointer. There may also be some other type remote control stuff. You know, if you're playing music or something, the S Pen will do it. Maybe it'll have some kind of thing where it'll help you find your phone, but usually you lose the S Pen before you lose the phone. So Bluetooth opens up some possibilities. I don't know exactly what those possibilities are gonna bring to us, but it does equal an improved S Pen. Why am I excited about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9? Well, I'm gonna tell you again, improved S Pen, DeX functionality, uh, there's all the stuff that's always been really cool about the Note phones. There's going to be a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, a huge honking battery. <laughs> that's exciting. And last but not least, because this is how I roll a headphone jack. Samsung is, there There have been rumors that says that Samsung's going to get rid of the headphone jack here sometime, somewhere, somehow, uh, but not, not here. It's not going to happen this time. There's going to be a headphone jack. So, what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9? I am actually, at first I was just kind of like, oh, well, it'll be another Note phone. But as it's come closer and closer and closer, I've become more and more excited about it. So I'm looking forward to having it unleashed upon us this Thursday, August 9th. Um, and then I think we can get it into our grubby little paws on the 24th of this month. If you want to go ahead and, and reserve yours right now, you can go over to the Samsung website and do that. Uh, it basically just, you know, you put in your name and your email and it asks you if you want to trade anything in. And then it just, you click the button and it says, res it doesn't say much of anything. Maybe I got an email that'll tell me more about it, but that's the end of the story. I'm excited about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I hope you are too, but if you're not, tell me why. Down in the description, let's have a boisterous conversation in which you tell me what an idiot I am. How's that? Go ahead, tell me how stupid I am, and I'll respond.
I guarantee it. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this was your first time here, then why don't you go ahead and find some ways that you can make yourself able to come back again and check out future videos or click on one that's probably somewhere around the video that you're currently watching. But, you know, like subscribe, da, 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 all those things. If you've been here before, then you know, you know that I love you like my own child. Okay, that's weird. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest. Take someone as it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.